So to start off part two of my project series about the Technic tractor, just wanted to look at my <laughs> attempt at doing the gnawing trend, which is uh, just aligning pieces, mostly 90 degrees, a couple at 45 here. It's just something to do. I think it looks cool when you lay out the pieces like this. Uh, but of course, it works best when you have all the pieces and I am still trying to find uh, six out of the inventory. So remember, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this specifically in part one, which you can go see, uh, just talking about the project uh, approach in general. The tractor has 322 total parts. Um, so far, I have found all but six of those. So right here, there are 316 pieces, uh, which means I have 98% of the set, uh, which is a good number, you know, 98%, oh yeah, that's most of the set. And it is uh, strictly counting parts, but some of the pieces I'm missing are the most important. Among them, the two large tires and their two rims. So those specific pieces I do not have in my collection. And I kind of knew that going into the project, even though um, I was pretty sure I could find the rest, I knew I didn't have those two large tires. I do have something comparable that's more modern. So this is a modern Technic tire. Uh, on Rebrickable, they do have an image of the actual tire. And in that picture, it shows that it's about 10 by 10 studs. So a 10 stud diameter tire. Um, I'm not sure what the lettering on the side specifically. I know it's in reference to the diameter and uh, the thickness of the tread, I think is what the numbering is for. Uh, and the original tire has numbering but I didn't have a good reference for the size until I found that picture. So 10 by 10 studs, this one is pretty close. Um, so I was kind of leaving space in here in the layout for these if I was going to find them. But uh, it's been about a week, I want to say, since I dug out all these parts. And um, I'll probably order them on Brick Bricklink eventually. But I'm not going to wait around for those to show up uh, to put them in the grid which is why I wanted to make a video before I disassembled everything here. So the two tires and two rims that I'm missing, that's four of the pieces. So what are the other two that I'm missing? Uh, they are also spaced out in the grid. One of them is the light gray um, 40 tooth gear. So I need four of those. Uh, and I know I have more of those. I just don't know where my gear bin went off to. Uh, I have an another entire set of gears and um, mechanical pieces. I just don't know where the bin went. So that's unfortunate. I know I have another one of those. Uh, at least I don't have to buy one. The last missing piece is a 2x8 red Technic plate. So just a regular plate, but it has the holes in it. Don't know if that's necessary for the build. Sometimes you need those holes in there to run, say, an axle through for stability or something. Uh, it's possible that a regular 2x8 plate is going to work, but specifically matching the inventory piece for piece, I need one more of those. Uh, so I have four out of the five of those, and then everything else is here. So the two small tires, I have both of those. The light gray rims, I have both of those. Um, some of the other pieces that might be harder to find if you don't have a lot of older Lego, these small two by two wheel holders and these in here. So these red ones you can see are the one by one round bricks, but they have a solid stud with the logo. And then the universal joint is specifically the older version. Um, and it does have an updated part, but it's actually a slightly different dimension. Uh, in this case, if you do need to use one or the other, it makes a difference because they have a slightly different length. So the same function is performed with these pieces, but the updated one slightly shorter. So it does make a difference there. Um, other than that, you know, some interesting mold differences that don't necessarily affect the overall function. Uh, the gear has been updated a couple times actually. So the new one has a little more reinforcement. The old one specific to this set has additional cross axle holes so you could put an axle through uh, not just the center but also on either side so that's not present on the new one and 
One other one, kind of minor, the two length Technic axle. Nowadays, pretty much all of these have a notch on each end. The old ones matched the other regular axles. So these are all still in production, um, but the one that is too long has been changed over to this design for quite a while. Most common to find these in red these days. I think there are other colors, but I'm not sure how many. So some interesting alternates there, just as I was going through the inventory. Um, other things that might be hard to find, you know, these red turntables in quantity start to get a little bit scarce, but not too bad. Oh, and then these uh, specific Technic, um, I don't know exactly what to call those, kind of change over from a cross axle to a pin. So that piece, perhaps. The rest of it's pretty standard. Uh, bricks, right here, not not too many, but a good amount. Technic bricks, quite a few of those. The 1x8, uh, I think you end up needing 8 of those. Uh, yeah. So, actually, the bricks and minifig store we went to had the last one of those that I needed. I picked that up. Regular plates, quite a few of those, and then some of these larger ones, the 4x12, 4x10. Um, not terribly difficult to track down, but you might only have one or two in your collection, so just keep that in mind as you're going. A bunch of 2x4s. Um, color palette, looking at this predominantly red, of course it is a red tractor, so that's your main color there. A lot of light gray, and 78, 1978 means this is the old version of light gray. So I tried to find as many pieces as possible. Um, just a color comparison, not the best against a gray back background, but uh, this is the old light gray and this is the new light gray, also known as light bluish gray. If I hold it in my hand, maybe you can tell a little better. Um, so the light bluish gray, of course, is maybe a little more blue. Uh, the old gray sometimes looks like it's been yellowed or aged but uh, that, that's kind of how they look. Even a brand new white gray brick is just a little bit more, um, maybe just a hint of brown or yellow in that color. So I tried to find as many of those as possible. I don't think I got them all. Some of these pins probably in lighter bluish gray. Um, but, you know, pretty complete for a 1978 inventory. Oh, and then of course the catalyst piece is the 2x4 hinge plate. So, uh, I've got them all organized out. That's going to make it a little bit easier to build. Um, so let's let's do go ahead and do the build. I'm going to do uh, the snippets of the instructions. So step one, we'll show the basic model. Step two, show the basic model, and kind of work our way through. Instead of a time lapse, um, just a little more, well, something a little different to do for the build part today. Step one, seven pieces. We're using one of the largest of the plates right off the bat. And we're also using our 2x4 hinge. But we've already added a plate that prevents it from being closed all the way. So that's going to come into play later in the design. Step two, five additional pieces. We have our first Technic brick and axle with a gear mechanism starting to be assembled. Step three has three additional pieces. We now have the other side of the axle assembly. It's probably the front or back wheels. Step four has four plates right here. Step five adds seven pieces and we now have a working mechanism to transfer uh, spinning motion from the axle to spinning motion on the rear of the tractor. Step six adds five more pieces. Four pieces are added in step seven. Add eight pieces in step eight, although they are not firmly attached securely yet. Six pieces in step nine, add uh, some studs not on top building with some Technic. In step 10, we add four one by four plates to build out an area around the gear. And here's what our build pile looks like at the end of step 10, with uh, sub-assembly going there, starting to pull pieces from all different areas of the gnawing square, different brick types, plenty of Technic and plates already being used, and a couple gears as well. 
Step 11 only adds two pieces, here and here. For step 12, we add 10 pieces and build the ba basics of the steering assembly, including the wheel, and the universal joint is used to translate that motion up towards the front area of the tractor. Eight more pieces are added in step 13, including some light gray plates. Step 14 adds six more pieces, all plates. In step 15, we add eight more pieces. The hardest ones to spot are actually the one by one plates right here. It took me a second to see where those actually go. They're kind of small and they start to blend in with the rest of the red. In step 16, we cover those up with two more one by four plates. Step 17 adds four more pieces, starting to form the seat now. Step 18 adds six more pieces, most notably the back has a 1x8 Technic brick just kind of hanging. And uh, our other two are still hanging as well, so starting to get concerned about that. Step 19, add four more pieces to continue making the seat. In step 20, we add 22 pieces to form the inner wall of the fenders. And at the same time, we also lock in the six length axle bar that this piece is attached to. By the end of step 20, we're pretty far along. Our board is getting depleted more and more, um, actually working our way through the bricks fairly quickly. Most of those went into the fender walls, and those are kind of just a solid construction of bricks and slopes. And surprisingly, these were all in a single step, so kind of interesting that those were all blocked together. There's definitely steps that are very quick and some that take a lot longer. Um, but we're moving towards uh, the nose, I think pretty much completed the interior workings of the main cab. There's not really a cab though, because it's not enclosed. Uh, one thing I'm not really sure about is the back here. All these long Technic beams are only attached at a pivot. So they're just kind of floating right now. Um, I presume this is going to come into play when we start building the implements. So I'm not too worried about them, but sometimes they do just get in the way and they're just kind of flopping around. This one isn't even secured left and right. It's just kind of there in the middle. The best part so far was definitely building the steering function um, that you join in there. I ended up having to take off the two, the one by four Technic beams in here. And then I put the axle rod through with the U joint on there first, put the whole thing back on the nose and then built the steering column into that. So that's pretty slick. Um, and this still has a little bit of play in it, but it's pretty sturdy for the most part, uh, and this is going to come into play when we add our functioning forward wheels that actually turn. Um, still plenty to go here, working our way towards the plates next, I think. So, 20 steps complete. Step 21, we're adding 8 more pieces to cover up on top of the fenders. Just kind of cover the top of those wheels there. In step 22, the step is broken down into uh, sub-steps. So the first two of those are building a platform for our front two wheels to turn independently with 13 pieces. The next two sub-steps add nine more pieces to link both five more pieces in the next two sub-steps. Bring us back to our grid. By now we are on sub-step eight of step 22, and we've added eight more pieces building up to the grill now. Sub-step 9, we add 5 more pieces up around this area. And sub-step 10 adds the entire sub-assembly to the rest of the model. And completing step 22. Step 23, we add 8 pieces to kind of lock in our steering and also the headlights. Step 24 adds 5 pieces up front. and forming some kind of engine detail here. Six more pieces in step 25. Eleven pieces in step 26 start to bring the nose of the tractor together. We used one of our large red plates here. In step 27 we continue building up with ten more pieces, most of them thin plates. In step 28 closes off the hood with four more plates, our four by twelve red plate providing the a uh, large piece needed there. Looking pretty good. In step 29, we flip the model over for the first time and add three plates at the same time as locking together 
our two arms that probably go back to the implement, but nice to have those finally locked in. And step 30, we're going to flip it around and look at the other side, adding some kind of mechanical lever here, as well as some Technic pins. Um, I think in the next step, we're actually going to link these two, but let's take a look at the rest of our build palette to this point. Really working our way down here through pretty much all of the regular plates. There's just a few left. Still a few of the Technic plates remaining. Um, it's starting to be, be more clear which pieces will be used for the implement at the back of the tractor. It's kind of a separate build. Um, but by step 30, we are pretty far along with the bulk of the model. Um, kind of to the point where you know you can see the wheels coming up in the future pretty soon. Um, it's not uh, necessarily unwieldy. It is larger than some of the modern models that we're used to. And a lot of the building techniques are just so outdated because of the new parts that have been introduced. But it's a good exercise so far in kind of taking a step back and looking at uh, older LEGO building methods and some of the things that can be achieved even with um, the most rudimentary of Technic parts can still develop a, a decent steering system. So let's continue. Step 31, we add three pieces right here, like I was saying, to connect our lever. Um, and all that does at this point is raises and lowers the Technic beams protruding out of the back. Nice mechanism. Step 32 is another one with many pieces, total of 16, um, to add the wheels and a few other little tidbits. So let's start with just the wheels on here. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is I do not have the correct Technic wheels. Um, fortunately, I do have some larger ones, or uh, larger modern ones, that are about the same diameter. So I'll be using these as a placeholder for now, uh, just to give an idea of the completed set and try to get those on the way. Uh, the front two are the correct wheels, so those are nice, looking good on there. Our steering function still intact. We've also added a smokestack, and remember what I was talking about with the hollow versus uh, filled version of this piece. So in this case, using the hollow version is actually more realistic because uh, the smokestack does need to be hollow. Um, but here you can see the use of one of the solid studs that I do have in red. Uh, used a little bit further back on the tractor. Not entirely sure what that represents. And we've also added a small light on the rear fender here. So um, the building method right here is called pony ears. It just involves sticking a plate between two studs of another plate. Um, if you do this with a tile, it is legal, a legal connection. It doesn't stress any of the elements. But if you start getting carried away with plates, the studs actually interfere and it's what's considered an illegal connection because it puts a little bit of stress on the plastic. Um, at LEGO headquarters they don't, they try not to use illegal connections but in 78 the rules were not quite as strict. In fact there's a couple of different sets you can find um, that actively use the methods that are now considered illegal. But Step 32 adding these tires um, really brings the model together. Uh, let's see what's left to build. So with step 32, we actually complete the tractor. The rest of the manual is the main implement, and it also shows you some alternatives. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up by just going through the main implement somewhat quickly. I also want to mention there are two more pieces. I need one of these in red and one of these in light gray. <laughs> just happen to have the correct ones, but uh, inverted colors. So I'll be using these as placeholders, again, kind of like with the tire, until I can get the correct ones in. Uh, and just try to finish up the model, even though it won't be 100% correct, I will have it built up. Um, so let's uh, just build up the implement. Step 33 starts off, again, many sub-steps here. So the first two, you build this. So skipping ahead to the end, here is the finished tiller, or rake, whatever this is going to be. A uh, pretty slick mechanism here with the gearing to translate the motion from the back of the tractor to the machine head uh, where we end up spinning some of these 2x2 two two plates around to really agitate whatever may be on the field. And there's also these two little pilot wheels. Uh, so let's see how that lines up at the back of the tractor. 
We do need to use the last of these Technic axles to actually hook this up. Um, but kind of surprisingly, there's still a few 1x4 bricks left. Um, maybe possibly using these in an alternate build for the implements. In the back of the instructions, there's quite a few different ones. Um, it, it gives you a couple steps to actually build those, but I'll just be sticking to this one. So I think I figured out how it all goes together um, using these last few axles and uh, also securing the last floating beam back here. Um, when you drive, it has to kind of get started a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of torque to run the spinning part of it, but it seems to do okay. I almost wonder if changing the tires, even though it would only be slightly different diameter, uh, if that has a big difference in, in anything. Uh, also, our lever can be used to hoist up the machine. It takes a little bit of encouragement to get it off the gear, but uh, when you have that up, it doesn't engage on the back. So if we take a look at the mechanism that's driving here, and I'm going to do uh, fully detailed coverage in an upcoming video. So this is just kind of uh, to close it out. But whenever you spin this wheel, that will drive this gear here. And then when this is dropped down into position, it's engaging my red 40 tooth gear. And you can see it right in there. It drops right in. So, um, kind of interesting how all the older Technic stuff fits together. The tolerances may be a little bit different from what we see in modern LEGO, but man, what a cool old set. 1978, that's how you get it done. Technic style, Technic tractor. Um, more to come with this project, but I think that's plenty for now. So, if you're still here after all of that, thanks for sticking around. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look back at some older LEGO. I know I did. A lot of fun to build, even though some of it, especially in the instructions, gets a little bit ambiguous, and you have to really study it to know what to do. Went backwards a couple times, but for the most part, uh, figured it out. At the end of the day, we have a lovely little Technic model. So, stick around for the next one, part three. We'll do more of our typical Let's Build. I um, need to get these parts on BrickLink and bring this to 100% original 1978 set 952 Red Technic Tractor. See you guys.